So this is a piece of three-quarter MDF. This is where all my brace are going to be. Um, so I've got four braces, four, four brace at the back. I use a P, uh, my, my straight edge here and bend it to get the, the radius I want to have on the board here. So I'm going to be measuring the, the distance. So uh, I don't think you can see it on the camera, but it, it increases and decreases as the, the curve goes around. I'm going to drill a hole, so like here I'm going about a 16, here about a, I don't think I've got an 8, but I think this is about an 8 here. And then I'll drill that, carve that, sand it up, and then that's going to be my template to create the back.
So a few things worth noting here is the grain orientation. So the, the grain is traveling from left to right in this view here. Uh, so basically it would be quarter sort and uh, the end grain would be on each side. What I'm doing right now is putting a radius on it uh, just for uh, aesthetical purposes. Uh, there's tape there to protect and uh, now that this is done I'm going to go around and sand the back plate because it's easier to do before the brace are installed and now I'm uh, uh, laying out where I'm going to put the brace and uh, cut the notch to put them in there. What is really important here is to make sure that the brace is going to be sitting all the way down on the backboard. So we want to remove every little bit of that wood strip uh, and the glue that's between the, the wood strip and the, and the backboard uh, in order to have a very good fit because we created the radius a bit earlier on every one of those braces and we want those braces to push the plate uh, as far as possible in the mold plate that we that uh, that I put together and that's sitting underneath right now. So you can see how the gold bar press. Uh, is very useful here to uh, tackle the, the the pressure that we need on those braces. Um, you can you can add as many strips as you want, and uh, the little pieces of wood on the ends is only so the the pressure doesn't mark the the actual brace. Um, so uh, while this is happening, uh, in the next videos, what we're going to be talking about there's obviously the tuning of the backboard which should be a very short video because it's not as as complicated as the the soundboard and then uh, obviously the uh, uh, glue up of the back plate onto the main body after that it's uh, it's going to be uh, time to start working onto the, 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 the neck itself so and the fretboard and the, the peg head so that that should be interesting so uh, I want to invite you guys to uh, consider subscribing uh, if you want to uh, if you don't want to miss uh, any uh, of the upcoming videos I also have a playlist of uh, all the the work I've done on this project uh, so the playlist will be in the description on the neat and uh, uh, I want to thank thank you everybody everyone to stop by and take the time to watch this video and uh, as usual I wish you well. Thank <laughs> you.